Hello students, this is my second video on the lesson Poonam's Day Out. I have shared my first video with you all. In the first video, I had a detailed explanation of the lesson Poonam's Day Out. In this video, I will be dealing with the NCERT book solutions or the exercises which you have in the book, the answers for those exercises. And also, I have also added some questions which is beyond the textbook. So, let us start. The, your book, the very first picture of your book is this one. I have dealt with this picture even in the first video. So, I will be very fast here. You have to observe the picture given in your book and identify the names of animals you can see on the trees. There are few animals on the trees which live on the trees. So, you have to identify the names of animals which you can see on the trees. What are these animals called? They are called as arboreal animals which we had already discussed in the first video. The answer is crow, butterflies, sparrow, monkey, squirrel, ants, miner, pigeon, parrot. These are the animals which you can see in this picture. The next picture is this which is in page number 2. Here again, you have to observe the picture given in your book and identify the animals which you can see at the pond. This question was also dealt in the first video. So, here again, the answers are buffaloes, frog, goat, tortoise, crane and stoke. Well done. Let us go to the next question. Here, soon after that picture, you are asked to imitate the sounds of animals. Like the sounds of animals I have listed out here, dog barks, cow moves, goat bleats, cat mews, duck quacks. You can also say dog, bow bow, cat, mew mew or maybe duck, quack quack quack. Similarly, there are some more like elephant trumpets, tiger or lion roars, donkey brays, monkey chatters, bird chips. I have collected some sounds of animals for you all. Hope you enjoyed this. Please recognize the first sound. Yes, that is a sound made by a dog. Okay, be careful. The next one. Yes, the sound of an elephant. This one. Yes, that is a sound made by a lion or a tiger. This. The sound of birds, so pleasing. And this, the sound of a goat. Exactly, hope you have enjoyed this. Let us go to the next question. Here in page number 3, you have watched in my first video, there I have given you the examples of how animals move from one place to another place. So, here you have got to write the answers. First one is given for you, can fly, butterfly, parrot, Housefly, crow. Children, here I have given you few examples on my own. But please, you are free to write your own answers. You need not go with my answers. Whatever you have observed, you can write those answers. Let us go to the second one. Can crawl, lizard, snake, caterpillar, snail. Next one is can hop, frog, rabbit, kangaroo, hare. The fourth one is have wings, butterfly, parrot, housefly, crow. Fifth one, have feet, monkey, bear, human beings. And the sixth one is have a tail, monkey, dog, cow, cat. Again, I am telling you children, you can always write your own answers. You need not copy these answers. These are only a help for you. Please be free to add your own answers. In next page, in page number 4, you have got a picture. Look at the picture given and color the animals that do not live in your house. Okay, do not because there are some animals which also live in our house. Very few tiny animals like ants, housefly, sometimes mosquitoes, sometimes rats. Okay, you have butterflies or you have the snail in your garden, the grasshopper, but here in this picture, you have to observe the picture very carefully and color the animals 
which do not live in your house be careful do not live in your house i have given you a help like for example elephant horse the chameleon chameleon is the garden lizard okay then you continue and color it properly hope you have understood this we'll go to the next question that is in page number 5 here are some incomplete pictures of animals complete them and write their names below this is a very simple one i hope by now you know these so the answer is the first one is a dog the second one is a fish and the last one is the cockroach fine now the next exercise you have to find the names of animals in the crossword this is the crossword given in your book here we have got some questions and the it's like a riddle and you have got to find the names of the animals from this box the first one is banana is what i love eating i spend my time jumping and leaping yes the answer is monkey exactly second one on the walls webs i weave where insects stick and cannot leave yes who weaves the web the spider correct the third one i remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight who is that yes the answer is owl now this is continues and we have got the fourth question here crook crook is my sound in water and on land i am found crook crook is a sound made by the frog the next one is i appear after rainfall i have no feet so i crawl yes snail moves very slowly and it crawls sixth one slow and steady is my pace i always win when there is a race the answer here is the tortoise okay i hope you have got this answers please do it in your book we'll go to the next activity which is in page number 8 spend some time under a tree where whenever you can and name the animals which can be seen for this you have to go out of your house if you have to go out of your house please do not do it now you can do it later or if you have got a tree inside you can in your garden you can please go and watch and observe the first question here is which animals can you see on the branches so i have given you the answer here cow sorry the crow sparrow and the squirrel and need not be the same thing you can write according to your own choice the next one is on the leaves we have the grasshopper caterpillar and the spider the third one is on the trunk we have ants squirrel and the termites on the ground we have dog cat snail any other animal which you have seen on the ground you always see you can add them around the tree cow goat chameleon i told you what chameleon is it's a garden lizard right now here we have collected the names of few animals and some birds isn't it now what we have to do the question is you have to arrange these animals in order of the size smallest to biggest the smallest animal you have to write in the first and the biggest animal will come to the end i have helped you here start like this termites ants caterpillar snail and then complete it see all the animals given above and write according to their sizes some extra questions beyond your textbook In my earlier video I have discussed about animals which live on land in water air on trees and on both land and in water this was the picture in the previous video now what is the question you have to do here here are the names of animals classify them into land water and air i have given you a box of animals goat buffalo camel fox cock crane squirrel fish swan cockroach owl chameleon butterfly pigeon dog alligator sparrow dolphin and lizard and i have helped you here like in land i have written goat buffalo camel fox cock in water i have added crane fish swan and alligator and in air i have given crane owl and butterfly but there are some more animals in the box you have to classify as i have shown you understood okay let us go to the next question here i have given you few sentences you have already read the book now you know the story very well you have to write whether the sentences are true or false the first one is here poonam was not getting 
bored at home? What do you feel? Let us see the answer. Yes, it is false. Poonam was very much bored at home. The second one is Poonam fell asleep on the grass. Did she sleep on the grass? Let us check. It is false. Where did she sleep? She fell asleep on the cot. Correct. The third one. Poonam went to a nearby pond to wash herself. Is it right? Yes, it's true. The fourth one. We find some animals living in our houses also. Have you seen very small tiny animals? Yes, it is true. Let us go to the next one. Answer the following. We have got the first question here. Why was Poonam at home for the past two days? The answer is Poonam was at home for the past two days because she had fever. Let us go to the next question. What are the ways in which animals move from one place to another place? We have discussed a lot about this. Animals can walk or run, crawl or slither, fly or glide and swim to move from one place to another place. Let us see the third question. Identify the body parts which help animals to move from place to place. How do they move? With the help of what? Animals use their body parts like fins, wings, feet and tail to move from one place to another place. Okay. So, and we will go to the next one. Who am I? This is a small puzzle-like thing. There are some sentences and you have got to identify the animal. The first one. I am your national animal. Our national animal is tiger. Exactly. The second one, I am your national bird. So, which is our national bird? Yes, our national bird is peacock. The next one, I can live both on land and in water. The animal starts with the letter F. What is it? Yes, it is a frog. The next one, I am the king of the jungle. The answer is lion. We all know that. The next one, I am the biggest land animal. The animal is elephant. And the last one, I am the biggest bird. The answer is ostrich. Exactly. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.